Hi guys, how's it going? I hope you are having a great day. Welcome to the third episode of our React and uh, Materialize CSS course. And then in today's episode, we'll see how we can set up our React project locally. And also, I'll see you how, how you can start the server. And then I'll show you the file structure of React application as I promised you in the previous video. So now let's see how we can explore this and just let me show you what I have done till yet. So as you can see in the terminal, I just created the application with npx create react tab and the name of the project, tutorial project. So just uh, uh, make sure you already have Node.js installed in your system and to see that just uh, type nod ng and uh, it, it will show you the Node.js version. If it's not showing then uh, you don't have Node.js installed in your system. But make sure you already have Node.js installed in your system otherwise you won't be able to install react. So to install React application, you have to type npx, then the, the create React app, and the name of the project, whatever you want to go with, just like hello world or whatever. But I'm not going to write it because I'm already done with the creation process. As you can see, I already created the project tutorial project. So once you are done with the installation, now what you have to do, just uh, yeah, you have to navigate to the project folder. Now, how you can do that? So let me show you. Just type cd and the name of the project folder, like tutorial project and just sorry, yeah, tutorial project and enter. So now, as you can see, we are in the project folder. Now, what we will do? We will start our server locally. So what it will do? It will help us to see our website what we are developing in the browser, and also we'll be able to make some changes and we'll be able to uh, see that in the browser. And for that we need a local server because without server we can't see the changes we are making or we are the website we are developing so now uh, now we are in the uh, in, inside our project folder so let's start our server locally so for that what you have to type is here start now once you type that it will start your server so as you can see our uh, server has started and it's uh, starting the development server and if I go to my browser now, as you can see, it's starting the server at local localhost 3000. But uh, it's uh, still loading because it's taking some time. It will take some time to start the server. And once it's done, we'll be able to see our website in uh, browser. So as you can see, it's done. And it's already showing the website, the localhost, in our localhost 3000. As you can see, it's our local server. And here is our project running. It's our React project. And now if I show you, this is our this is our folder structure of tutorial project, and uh, I am using Visual Studio Code. If you are if you want to use something else, then you are welcome to use that. And if you want to go with my choice, then yeah, you are also welcome there. So just uh, let's uh, let me so now let me to, uh, tell you the important things here. We are going to focus on two folders. One is source folder, and one is public folder. Well, uh, we'll not focus on public folder that much, but the main folder we are going to work with is source folder. So let me just show you. So now we'll see the app.js file. It's uh, in our source folder. And this is the uh, file where we are going to make some changes. And we'll see that changes inside, inside our browser. So how it's uh, affecting our browser. So just let me show you how it's rendered. So app.js is a component. It's nothing but a component and it's a functional component uh, as you can see and it's a you can tell it's UI component as well we'll discuss that later but just know that it's a functional component app.js and next index index.js now what it is doing it's uh, getting the element by id root and rendering this app component inside root id so now why is root id if you go to public folder and go to i'm sorry index.html you can find that it is a, there is a division and inside there is an id called root and it's it's rendering the component inside this root id so that's how it's working now let me show you something interesting so now let me show you something interesting if you if i come here and just let me uh, so first let me delete some unnecessary files i'll delete this app.css I'll also de delete this get test file and this logo because we are not going to use this so it's good if we 
delete this and also make sure you are removing this from here and also I'm going to remove all of this header shit from here and what we are going to use we'll see the h1 tag in the we will keep this h1 tag and we will say hello world and we'll set the file and as you can see we already have this hello world so now if I give you a recap this is our app component and we are typing hello world inside h1 tag so now what's happening we are exporting this app so why are we why are we are importing this so if you go to index.js you will see here we are importing app from dot app this is as you can see this is react tutorial for source app app.js so now what react dom is doing it's rendering this component inside the id root and now where is this root id so now where is this root id this root id is available inside index.html there is a div and inside the div there is an id called root so what it's doing it's rendering that component inside this division and we are watching this in a browser so if i now just say here this is a component Now you can see the changes. So let me know in the comment section if you are able to print hello world or not. And I'll see you in the next video.